Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you more of an Easter Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are all doing great, feeling amazing, living your best life. But before I start this video, I really want to bring something to your attention. And I'm here to see if you guys can help this family out. I hate to come here all the time and make it seem like I'm always asking you guys for money. But you all know that my son passed away about two and a half months ago due to a TBI, which is traumatic brain injury. This young lady named Crystal found me on TikTok um, because I share a lot of Joel's, his story, his journey, you know, his TBI journey there. Because I wanted to be able to reach out and be able to help other families that are going through something very similar and felt just as lost and desperate like I did. And this poor girl reach out to me about her brother eric i believe eric is either 35 36 he's gonna be 36 in october i believe he has two kids two girls a five-year-old and a 13 year old and um from my understanding eric was coming out of work and he was struck by a truck he was hit by a truck and um i believe that he flew and his every, all the story will be i'm gonna put the pictures and i'm gonna put his gofundme and on the GoFundMe underneath, his sister shares his story detail by detail how everything happened. She just reached out to me, talking to me about Joelle. She said, you know, not Joelle, but she, she found my story and obviously she can relate. And she was talking to me and sharing about her brother. And it broke my heart because everything that he's going through is very similar to the T, like my son, fighting medical insurance, fighting at where to put him, getting the right help. The getting you know the 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 right case manager um having to take care of him all the time because like i said there's no help when it comes to tbi patients um what else what else you know i just want to be able to share to share as much as i can with you guys this girl is sharing and talking to me and she's crying and i cry with her because it breaks my heart because i know i've been there that pain that she's feeling i understand that pain that she's feeling the feeling angry and being lost and feeling alone like no one's I know that pain I'm I can you know like I wish I was just next to her right now and I can just hug her tight and tell her that everything's gonna be okay I told her I will add her and her brother and her family in my prayers um but every time I can I have a lot of you guys here and I know a lot of you guys I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but I know that you guys are just as compassionate as I am and that you guys understand. And um, it just breaks my heart. It breaks my heart to know that this family is dealing with this right now. Her brother's been in the hospital for seven months. He's getting his, um, his flap replaced tomorrow. They're taking him at four o'clock in the morning. She hit me up and I told her I'm going to make an urgent video just for you so I can help you guys because she put a GoFundMe. No one has donated to the GoFundMe. He has two kids. It's been seven months that this family is not getting the help that they need. Remember, guys, I'm going to put her GoFundMe and her Cash App. Remember, guys, that sometimes we spend. Cash App is even, even easier because if you can't spend a lot of money or, you you know, we can always be able to maybe send a few dollars one two three i don't know i think cash app cash app you can send anything go find me i don't know i think it's five but cash app is anything any little help guys remember that even if it's just a dollar two dollars whatever everything adds up to be able to help this family whether it's medical needs bills that the wife might be going through that she can't do right now because eric is out of commission he can't work right now he's in 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 a bed um, you guys all know my story with Joel. It is very similar. He's going to be 36 years old. He has two kids and he's going through everything that Joel pretty much went through. So I'm going to share this little, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to share the pictures and videos that she sent me so you guys can see what they're going through. And then I'm going to share a little Easter haul and I just, and we'll talk a little bit more towards the end of the video. Okay. So give me one second.
Papi, you picking up your hand. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yeah, look at you. That's the hand that he couldn't pick up. Wow, that's right. <laughs> Shake it off, Bobby. Shake it off. Yeah. Wow. I brush it down. That's amazing. Okay, pick up the other hand. Pick up your your right hand. Pick it up. Pick up the hand. Pick it up higher, Bobby. Pick it up. Come on. Pick up your hand. Pick up your hand, Bobby. Okay. Happy. Happy. Hi, Ray. Hi, my love. <laughs> How is your sister? Crystal. Who's that? Looks Crystal? Crystal? Crystal, your sister. Crystal? Crystal? With mom and Brandon? I love you, my brother. Huh? I love you so much. I was thinking about you all day today. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was at the hospital. I had to get surgery. But now I'm a little bit better. Mommy went to go pick me up. Yeah. Uh -huh. a lot. Yeah. You got too much what? You got too much beer. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> you opening your eyes. Mm -hmm. I love you. Give me daddy kisses. Beso? No? Eric, good morning. Say good morning. Papi, levántate. Eric, you sleepy head. Come on, you're already sleeping now. Come on, me and mommy here. Come on, papi, open your eyes. Come on, slowly, puppy, slowly. Open your eyes slowly, puppy. Come on. Eric. I love you, puppy. Good morning. Good morning to my handsome. So. Did you watch the Super Bowl last night? Did you get to watch it, puppy? Yeah? Yeah, come on, open your eyes. Come on, puppy. Okay, so now that you saw Eric's story and stuff like that, I hate to bring a, a haul, but, you know, I, sometimes it's just easier if I was, if I'm able to do a haul and get attention so that way she can get the help that she needs because I'm thinking that if maybe if I just post a video about him, it won't get as much views and i'm really trying to help her i'm really really trying to help her in every way we can my husband and i are going to help her what we can financially we're going to send i'm going to reach out to my family my friends everybody i'm going to send them eric's story so everybody can even if it's five bucks they can help out you know maybe tomorrow you have to make coffee at home and you can't go buy it but it's okay you're helping a life a family that really needs our help right now so 
it sucks that I have to jump to a haul, but I'm going to do it really quick because I do have some wish list items that I really wanted to find and I found them. And I found so many, I was shocked because I didn't think that I was going to find these, but I did. And I was super grateful that I did because these are freaking beautiful. These are beautiful for $1.25. And these are going in my hutch, my kitchen. I don't know how I'm going to use them yet, but I'm going to figure it out. I'll probably just even tie a, around some like twine like that and like put them in a little basket, Easter basket, wicker basket, whatever. Or just lay them around with a bunny and some grass. I don't know, but I got two sets. I wanted to be greedy and grab a whole bunch. But I was like, girl, you don't need that many. Two set is more than enough. I came across the little Easter bunny. They need help. I don't know what's going on, guys. Dollar Tree needs to get it together because they gave us some really pretty um, Valentine gnomes and Christmas. They need to, I don't know, feed them a little better. I don't know what's going on. But they're still cute. And I only picked one because he had to poke with that pink hat. And I just thought the green with the pink was so cute with the little blushy little ear. I don't know, guys. I just thought he was cute. I only grabbed one because I said, girl, hold yourself back because you got gnomes for you and like a whole army out there, okay? And then I grabbed this cute little happy Easter sign because I like the little, like I tell you the guys all the time, this is my home right here. Very neutral, very like my sofa is a little darker than this. I have a lot of like wood, ton wood tones and like galvanized and like, I don't know. I just thought it fit my home perfect. So I grabbed this one, even if I just want to maybe take it apart and put like the Happy Easter in the basket, something sticking out and put the bunny somewhere else or just use it as is, which is probably what I might do. I'm not sure. And I found these. This is a small haul because, you know, I just wanted to share. I found these. They usually come for valentine's you get the two white chocolatey pretzels i got a whole bunch of candy from my kids valentine's theme but i was like you know what i want to do this short and sweet and i want to dedicate this video to eric so i'll share that at another time i needed two bags for the two boys here in my life my two boys at home and i needed a new shadow switching sponge so i got this one right here and then I kept passing these up, and every time I was like, man, I should have grabbed them. When somebody hauled them, I was like, I should have grabbed them. I finally picked up the little um, decor tail bunnies here because I'm going to put, like, a little stick in the back or something, and I'm just going to have them sitting around my hutch or, like, my little plants or, like, my little coffee bar or just shelves and stuff like that, you know. There's a lot of things you can do with them, but I'm just going to glue a little thing in the back, and they're just going to be standing all around my house, you know. Like being sneaky, trying to get in my plant or something. I don't know, something cute, but we're doing it. We is doing it. So that's it for this bag. And I found today the, the cute little Easter cookie decorating kit. I got two for the adult boys here in the house and two for the boys, the little guys. Because they like to sit around Easter. I actually still put eggs even for my 18-year-old i let them go look for eggs i have like uh crafty stuff to do you know they don't mind they still come down and they see the stuff you know i got some cards you know i think my lucky starts for you i grabbed this for nate i i already have one for the for the boys i was just missing my hubby my daughter and nathan husband for always giving me more amor and for sabrina i got hey daughter valentine is the best with some candy some pretty hearts and some hugs and then i don't want to read the inside just in case they are they do watch my stuff you know they try to be sneaky and watch my games and then the last thing i'm going to show you guys is from this is from dollar tree i forgot to take it out but this is for my hobby i just i like him to wake up by and i put by his computer like little snacks especially more for valentine's like i'll leave the little card and then i'll do a little qc stuff for later on so i can take them to eat or something this is sweet hot beef jerky you don't get a lot here for a dollar 25 but the jerky is expensive and then the teriyaki and some m m's peanuts and then i have three things for a dollar spot um dollar spot target they were on my wish list so i didn't find everything but i found a few things and i wanted this container it has the little bunny up here it's just plastic which is great and i don't know i could probably put like little grass a bunny and some eggs and you know make it cute and put a little stand somewhere in my house 
and I fell in love with these and I'm like, oh my God, I have to grab them. You get three little bunnies in there. And this is what they do, guys. They just hang in a little basket with the bees. And I just thought this was super cute for my home. I have this plant actually. And I have little wicker baskets and I have beads. So we're doing this. We are doing this right here. And the theme was $5. This was $5 as well. And the last thing I'm going to share with you guys is this cute little egg holder thing. And I'm digging the green like this for spring and stuff like that. And some whites and very neutral like beiges and stuff. That's what I'm going to do for my house. This is an egg holder. $3. So I have some wood eggs some wooden eggs that i bought last year um for easter but i didn't get to celebrate easter because i was at home i was in chicago at the hospital with joel joel got into his accident march 17th so for easter i was already with joel so i didn't get to decorate do nothing i'm just gonna put my little wooden eggs i'm gonna put this somewhere in my hutch i just thought it was super cute for three bucks but yeah guys that is it don't forget to please please Check out my description box. I'm going to put Crystal's GoFundMe for her brother, Eric. And I'm going to put her Cash App as well. So, you know, if you want to, if you feel more comfortable doing it through GoFundMe, GoFundMe just takes a little bit back. You know, they take a little bit for them. But, you know, or Cash App is maybe a lot easier sometimes because you can put whatever amount you want. But remember, guys, no donation. It's going to be a small donation. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps to add, and it adds up for this family that needs help. She touched my heart. I just want to do my part. I want to keep paying it forward the way you guys did for me and Joelle because we are extremely thankful for you guys. I will never, never stop saying thank you because you guys came through when I needed you most. And I just want to do the same for her. If I can help in any way, I'm going to share in all my social media. And every social media that I have, I'm going to share her story and I'm going to see how I can get her the help. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, guys. I love you so, so much. Don't forget to be kind and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Okay, bye.